Hello and welcome to the tutorial on ordinal numbers up to 200. In the previous tutorials we covered all the numbers up to 100. So let's go through one of them as an example and then we'll look at the number above 100. So let's write this down. Suppose we have this number 27th. 27th. Now how do we write this down? We write down, and I'm just going to write this on the right hand side here, 27th. Now how about if we add 1 before it? It becomes 127th. Everything else remains the same. The TH over here remains the same. The spelling of the words 20 and 7th remains the same. The only difference is that we have to write down 100 and 127th. So that is the only difference. Let's look at one more example because this is not very difficult. Suppose this time we have 42nd. So we've got the number 42nd. How do we write that down? 42nd. There we go, we've got 42nd. Now suppose we put 1 before it. So it becomes 100 and 42nd. Nothing else changes. Everything else is exactly the same. And one final example. Let's suppose we have number 90th. Now if we've got 90th, what we do is we write down 90th. Do you remember we did this before? 90th. So if it's on its own, it is 90th. You put 1 before it, and it becomes 190th. So let's write that down. 190th. So that is the only change. If you've got a two-digit number, well, you know how to write that down. If there is 1 in the hundreds column, all you do is write down 100 and. The rest of it remains the same.